Welcome back to another episode of the Senior Spotlights for the 2023 Spring Graduates. I'm Megan Berry, and I'm here with a good friend of mine, Carter Newcomb. Carter, congratulations on being a senior and getting ready to graduate. So, first question, just pretty basic. What overall brought you to Waynesburg? When you were going through the application process as a senior in high school, what truly brought you here? Um, so, I didn't even know Waynesburg existed uh, prior to actually like really coming here. I guess in the sense, I whenever we were going on vacation one year and we, we stopped and ate here. And we stopped because we ate at the Hardee's because I never had Hardee's before. And I was a little confused. And I was like, I remember having this thought, I'm like, I can't imagine ever living here. Like I can't believe people actually live in this town and yada, yada, yada. And then like fast forward a couple of years, I had like a, a senior recruitment thing for football. Uh, I talked to the Waynesburg coaches and I never put two and two together. That was the same place. And they wanted me to come down on a visit I came down on a visit and man, like my, my world lit up when I realized when I got off the highway, like where I was at, um, it, was, it was kind of a surreal moment, but I, I enjoyed it here um, on my tour. Uh, I learned about the communication department. Um, so between that and getting recruited for football, that's what ultimately uh, brought me here. Um, but my life has changed a lot since, since that time, so. And then when you came here, you obviously picked the major sports media announcing. So what just, push you to pursue that major and what was the push to choose that over sports info or just communications in general? Um, so I've always been you know a sports diehard um, depending on I mean, my, my parents always would say you know you don't need to, to know what kind of season of the year it is just gotta see what kind of sport car is into right now um, so right now it's baseball season so it's the spring um, because I had always, it's just depending on what time of the year it was, that's the sport I was into playing, um, watching nonstop. So uh, th they've always been a part of my life. So I wanted to do something that um, followed that in suit. So that's, that's the main reason why I, I came into this program. But, you know, over the time here, I've, I fell in love with a lot of other aspects of communication. And, you know, the blending of those two has been, you know, been a, help, uh, you know a healthy marriage, at least in a sense for me, uh, just because... Uh, I get to do two things that I love. That's really awesome. And then on top of that, there's a lot of great professors in this department. Everybody here knows them. But has there been any professor that you just want to give a shout out to that has personally helped you just on your way to build your future? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of them here that have done, you know, a, you know, certain aspects in each their own right. You know, obviously Professor Kraus, as you know, I'm sure, has been mentioned before on this, and you know, he's. He's a guy that expects a lot out of everybody, and because of that, he pushes you to do your best. You know, you can, you know, work as hard as you can in his class sometimes, and you may only get a B plus, but you know, you know that you worked hard for it. Um, so he's he's definitely one up there that I'm going to say. He he knows people have he holds people holds people to high standards, and because he knows what well, a lot of his students are capable here, and uh, I would say he, he has done a lot um, in that form. I would also say. You know, Lanny, obviously, you know, he's, he's not only just a big name here, but he also provides a lot of insight, and, and he, he pushes you to, to be your best self. He doesn't really hear any excuses. He just wants the best, and so he uses that to, to push you. And then when you turn, you know, obviously, Melinda as well, she, she's been great. She helps out a lot with, uh, you know, the, the process of, you know, graduating and getting jobs and stuff. Um, so she's kind of, you know, those three have kind of shaped I think me the most at this at this uh, university, but you know there's also other professors as well in the department who've who've also helped as well. And then outside of the classroom, you were heavily involved in WCTV with Pleasure Case, Jacket Sports Weekly, Nerd Alert, and even the Buzz. So, but even being on camera, you did stuff behind the scenes as well. What are some of the things that you did either on camera or behind the scenes that just really impacted? Um, your time here and was like your favorite part of being a part of WCTV? Um, I gotta say there's there's a lot that goes into it. I'm obviously being on you know talent is a, is a lot of fun and you get to you know not only you know talk you know about certain aspects but you also get to show your personality with you know people in our department as well as you know people in the community as well. Um, I, I really enjoyed though a lot of it was being behind the scenes you know I know, it's, I know it's a branch of WCTV, but especially with Woosen, I, I really enjoyed, you know, even like the setups and like just getting things ready to go and, and doing a lot of behind the scenes and, and camera work, I thought uh, kind of molded me the most just because it was nice to know that you're working hard, but you're not the one necessarily getting the credit for it on the camera. Obviously, 
you know, whenever you're on talent, you know, you're the showcase of what's going on. But, you know, whenever you're behind the scenes, you're doing a lot of the, the heavy lifting. And it makes me feel like I was a part of something. And, and just like my favorite, my favorite moments are, are probably Saturday doubleheaders down at, at the field house, honestly. You know, as much as like we would joke about how much we hated them and, and whatnot, you know, I, I'd kill it for another doubleheader down at the, at the field house. So I think those are probably the most positive aspects for me. Yeah, and you've already touched on it, like your experience with Woosin and working with Woosin, as you said. But recently this year, you stopped playing football and you decided to announce for your senior year for Woosin. How do you think just choosing your career over something that you obviously love and you've done for your whole life just prepared you for your future or even gave you some more opportunity? Yeah, I mean, it was a difficult decision uh, to, to, to not play football my senior year. It's been something I'd, I'd played for well over 10, 12 years. So that was a difficult decision, but ultimately it's like, I know I'm gonna graduate here and I'm not gonna be able to play football for my entire life. So I've got to be able to use you know, my talents elsewhere and, and really be able to showcase them. And I thought that taking that step was gonna help me throughout my career. And it has, it's already kind of benefited because I've gotten so much more experience. It allowed me to do things that I would have never been able to do had I been able to play football. Um, at least my, in the fall of my senior year. And it's not like I didn't stay active in sports and whatnot. You know, I still golfed and, and all that. But being able to, you know, Monday through Friday, you know, be able to work, you know, in the evenings with, you know, whether it be WCTV or Woosin or other aspects of the comm department, as well as being able to do the Saturday games. You know, I got to direct a football game. I got to announce some games. You know, I traveled with the team a good bit. Um, it allowed me to, to, to showcase other talents that I had uh, by, by not playing football. So as much as a difficult decision it was, I, I think it was probably the right decision looking back on it now. And then, again, outside of the classroom, just stepping into the career field in general, you've done a couple internships here and there. How do you think like some of the internships that you've done have just prepared you overall for stepping into this new chapter of your life? Um, I've done a lot of you know odds and ends work, uh, I would say. So. I think that when I, when I came here, I, I wanted to shape myself to be able to do a lot, um, kind of become a jack of all trades. And I think that's kind of what I've become because, you know, I did my, my formal internship, the one I took the class for here, uh, was with my internship with the President's Athletic Conference. And we did, it was an online internship, which was beneficial because I didn't have to move for a summer. But, um, you know, there was a lot of it was behind the scenes work, just, you know, working on some documents for the, for the conference. Maybe I didn't necessarily work as much in that as I thought I was going to leading into it. Um, so that was the only really formal internship that I had, but what I also did is I worked some part-time with, um, you know, Nathan Grello's Backyard PA Sports that we did. That was very, very, very beneficial because, you know, sometimes we, people around here would, would joke about it or whatnot, but like I got to do a lot of different things. I shot and edited video for the first time with that kind of stuff. I was able to be on camera for the first time with a lot of that stuff. And it got me the sense of like, you know, having to do stuff on my own and not necessarily like, um, you know, being prompted to have to you know, do a certain thing a certain way. Uh, between that and then I got the opportunity to work at the Gazette um, over this past fall with basically because of what I did with some back here PA stuff. Um, and then that was, that was a lot of fun and it got my foot in the door there with a lot of people, but obviously with them going on like their strike, they kind of shot down quickly. But, you know, between, I've done a lot of odds and ends kind of stuff that's not necessarily, you know, a paid spot where it, uh, you know, helped me create you know a version of myself that's rounded and be able to do a lot of different things so whenever I'm asked to do something you know professionally I'm not just like oh I don't know how to do that like I have a basic understanding of a lot of different things and then moving forward here Carter obviously you know it's just one more week of classes and then finals so in a few days here you're gonna be walking across that stage with obviously your fellow classmates and you're gonna be graduating so What's the one thing that you're going to miss the most about your time here at this university and just being able to live here? Um, I think I'm going to miss probably the community aspect of it the most. Obviously, uh, whenever you're here, when you're at college, you get, you're kind of forced into meeting people and, and whatnot. You know, as much as some people will, will say that, oh, I'm not really a social person, I'm not really so, whatever, you just by the nature of this campus and being a small campus, you see a lot of the same people around. So your relationships are kind of forced upon you. And sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. But, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer that you meet, every, every person you meet in your life is there for a certain reason, uh, you, for, to learn something. So I think in my time here, I met a lot of people that are very valuable to my life and some people that, 
you know, as much as I might have some disdain for them, they taught me something. So I think a lot of what I'm gonna miss here is gonna be the community of people that taught me a lot of valuable lessons because I've changed a lot in my four years here. And being around that community every single day, for better or for worse with certain things, is gonna be the difference for me. Because whenever I came here, um, I did not know a single person at this school, um, two and a half hours away from home. So like, I was far enough away where I couldn't really escape back home if it didn't work out here. You know, it's not like, you know, I lived 40 minutes down the road where if I had a bad day at school, I could just go home and stay the night there or whatever and hang out with the same people. Whenever I came to school, I had to completely reinvent my, myself and, and, and find my new friends and, and, and find out what I was gonna do. So with all that, I made a lot of connections that were very valuable to me. And I guess the transition from doing, having, getting used to all that for four years and going away is gonna be the, one of the harder things, but I'm very grateful for my time here and grateful for all the people that I met. And then one final question, what is the next step for you, Carter? So we're in the midst of trying to figure that all out right now. Um, so there's a couple different uh, places I've been looking at and I've, I've applied to a variety of places all over. Uh, I've applied for positions with uh, the PJ Tour in terms of doing digital content. I've also applied places being an MMJ for certain news stations. So like not even dealing with sports in general. Um, so like I've applied to a, a variety of different places, a variety of different positions, which is kind of what I wanted um, coming here because I just wanted to be able to, you know, apply for a variety of different places. So still kind of figuring out we're in the negotiation process with a couple places right now. So I don't have any firm details to give you right now as far as what my next step is. But um, obviously it's going to be hopefully getting a job here soon and uh, starting my career. Well, that's definitely exciting and congratulations. And I hope everything works out for you perfectly and it all plans out the way that you want it to. But congratulations and I wish you luck. Thank you for being tuned with us here. Stay tuned for more Senior Spotlights for the 2023 Spring Class here at WCTV. This has been a production of Waynesburg Community Television.